Hey everyone, thank you for joining me this evening. In this video, I'm going to go over some concepts that are used in the playing style that is known as chicken picking. Now, what exactly is chicken picking? Well, chicken picking is a combination, or is using the combination of a pick and your individual fingers when you're playing rhythmic or solo patterns. And to demonstrate this, I am going to show you the rhythmic pattern that I use in a song I recently wrote and recorded called Old Time Debauchery. And this is a sample of that song. Okay, so as you heard, it's a fast moving song, but we are going to go slowly through some of the things that I do in that song, mainly focusing on the rhythmic pattern first, and then more of the lines where I'm doing single note runs around the fretboard. Okay, we're going to focus now on the main rhythm pattern that I use in the song, Old Time Debauchery. And the way that I'm going to play it for you first not only am I going to do it slowly, but I'm not going to play it as much in the chicken picking vibe, but more so, so you know exactly what notes that I'm playing. Okay, so we're going to split this up into two parts. Okay, so here is how you play part one. Okay. This is part two. Okay. And if you're looking at my right finger, you see that I'm alternating between picking with a regular pick between my thumb and my index finger. Then I'm using my middle finger and my ring finger to do those double stops as I go up and down the fretboard. Okay, so this is pattern one. First I start with an open A, that's the fifth string, and then I hit the E and the A. The E is on the second fret fourth string, A is on the second fret third string, and then I go down here, hit an open E, pull off a G, so it goes E, G, A, and then I do third fret fifth string, which is a C, and pull that off to an A. So, then when I put that together, it's and at the very end there, what I'm doing is another double stop, like I did here but I'm using the fifth fret and I'm using a G on the fifth um, fret fourth string and I'm using C, which is the fifth fret third string. So like that. So let's practice the first pattern right now. I'll give you a four count if you'd like to play along with me. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's pattern one. Now pattern two starts off the same way that pattern one does. So you have the open A, then the double stop, then you go down to the... So... And then we go through the double stop run. Okay, so what that is, is you hit the open A, fifth string, and then you do the double stop, one, which is the uh, second fret, um, E on the fourth string, A on the third string, and you pull them off like that. So you do open A, pull off, and then we're going to go up the fretboard, 
open A, and we're going to pull off the fifth fret, which is going to be the G on the fourth string fifth fret, the C on the third string fifth fret, just like that. Then we're going to go up to the seventh fret. We're going to do the same thing again, where we hit the open A, but we're now doing A on the seventh fret fourth string, and then D on the seventh fret third string. And then we're going to jump back to the G and the C on the um, fifth fret. So, okay, so now let's practice the second pattern. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that is the second pattern in the main rhythm for old time debauchery. Now we're going to try and put them both together, and we'll do this together slowly. I'll give you a four count. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there you have it. Practice both of those patterns individually first, and then try to put them together, playing them at a tempo that works comfortably for you. The chicken pick and playing style is also more common for the genres of country, country rock, blues, and rockabilly. Thank you for joining me, and please subscribe to my channel.